Hi everyone, I'm going to read you one of my favorite stories. It's called The Three Bears. Once upon a time, there were three bears who lived together in a house of their own in the woods. One of them was a wee little bear. One was a middle-sized bear. And the other was a great big bear. They each had their bowl of porridge. The wee little bear had a wee little bowl. The middle-sized bear had a middle-sized bowl. And the great big bear had a great big bowl. They each had a chair to sit in. The little wee bear had a wee little chair. The middle-sized bear had a middle-sized chair. And the great big bear had a great big chair. And they each had a bed to sleep in. The wee little bear had a wee little bed. The middle-sized bear had a middle-sized bed. And the great big bear had a great big bed. One morning, the three bears made porridge for breakfast and poured it into their bowls. But it was too hot to eat. So they decided to go for a walk in the woods until it cooled. While the three bears were walking, A little girl named Goldilocks came to their house. First, she looked in the window. Then she peeked through the keyhole. Of course, there was no one inside. Goldilocks turned the handle of the door. <gasps> she didn't even knock or ask permission. She just went in their house. The door was not locked because the three bears were trusting bears. They did, not, they did no one any harm, and they never thought anyone would harm them. So Goldilocks opened the door, and she went right in. The, there was the porridge on the table. It smelled very, very good. Goldilocks didn't stop to think whose porridge it was. She went straight to it. First, she tasted the porridge of the great big bear, but it was too hot. Then, she tasted the porridge of the middle-sized bear, but it was too cold. Then, she tasted the porridge of the wee little bear, it was neither too hot or too cold. It was just right. Goldilocks liked it so much that she ate it all up. Then Goldilocks went into the parlor to see what else she could find. A parlor is like a living room. There were three chairs. First, she sat down on the, great, the chair of the great big bear, but it was too hard. Then she sat on the chair of the middle-sized bear, but it was too soft. Then she sat down on the chair of the wee little bear. It was neither too hard or too soft. Goldilocks liked it so much that she rocked and rocked and rocked until the bottom of the chair fell out. Down she went, plop, onto the floor. Goldilocks went into the bedroom where the three bears slept. First, she lay down upon the big bed, the bed of the great big bear, but it was too hard. Then she lay down upon the bed of the middle-sized bear, and it, but it was too soft. And then she lay down upon the bed of the wee little bear, and it was neither too hard or too soft. Goldilocks liked it so much that she covered herself up and she fell asleep. By this time, the three bears 
thought their porridge would be cool enough, so they came home for breakfast. <clears throat> Goldilocks had left the spoon of the great big bear in his porridge bowl. He noticed it first thing. Somebody's been tasting my porridge, said the great big bear in a great big voice. Goldilocks had left the spoon of the middle-sized bear in her porridge, too. Somebody's been tasting my porridge, said the middle-sized bear in her middle-sized voice. Then the wee little bear looked at his bowl. Somebody's been tasting my porridge! and has eaten it all up, so, cried the wee little bear in his wee little voice. The three bears went into the parlor. Goldilocks had left the cushions crooked in the chair of the great big bear. He noticed it first thing. Somebody's been sitting in my chair, said the great big bear in his great big voice. Goldilocks had squashed down the cushion of the chair of the middle-sized bear. Somebody's been sitting in my chair, said the middle-sized bear in her middle-sized voice. Then the wee little bear looked at his chair. Somebody's been sitting in my chair and has sat right through it. They broke it, said the wee little bear in his wee little voice. The three bears went into the bedroom. Goldilocks had pulled the pillow of the great big bear out of place. He noticed it first thing. Somebody's been lying in my bed, said the great big bear in his great big voice. Goldilocks had pulled the blanket of the middle-sized bear out of place. Somebody's been lying in my bed, said the middle-sized bear in her middle-sized voice. Then the wee little bear looked at his bed. Somebody has been lying in my bed, and here she is, said the wee little bear in his wee little voice. This woke Goldilocks up at once. There were the three bears, all staring at her. Goldilocks was so frightened that she ran, she tumbled out of bed and she ran to the open window. Out she jumped. She ran away as fast as her feet could take her, never looking behind her. No one knows what happened to Goldilocks after that. As for the three bears, they never saw her again. <laughs>